Oh, you're going to love this next segment. You can watch Lego Masters tonight at 9 o'clock right here on Fox 61. We have half of one of the teams because she is from here in Connecticut. This young lady has been working with uh, Lego in terms of her art for many years. Jessica Ewood is with us. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much for I'm having delighted. me. I'm so excited. Uh, we're very excited to meet you because when you walked through the newsroom, there were a couple people who stopped and said, that woman knows Lego, and <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's funny, admit. yeah, it's surreal. Let's, let's talk about, before we get to the show, let's talk about your background. You've been a full-time artist for a few years now, but you've been, art, artistry has been in your life for your whole life? Yes, definitely. When did Lego become part of that? Lego became part of my life pretty recently, actually. So a few years ago, when I really wanted to take my artwork to the next level, mm -hmm. I started using Lego as a medium in my artwork, and mm -hmm. it really propelled me as an artist. You did a show yes. in, uh, near your uh, hometown in Newtown. N where, uh, in near, Greenwich, near actually. Town, you did it in Greenwich, and it sold out. Yes, yes. It was my very first gallery show because um, I hadn't done a gallery show before. Mm -hmm. It was in Greenwich, and um, it was a. Uh, I had some Lego arts for sale, and it's completely sold out. What does that do to a budding artist? I got to imagine oh the confidence level goes through the roof. It did. I was like, I was so surprised and shocked and happy. I like started crying. Like when the gallerists called me, they're like, I have great news for you. You're sold out. Wow. I couldn't even believe it. And take a look. If you put, uh, let's uh, take a look over here at, at uh, this Marilyn Monroe show that you have over here on camera 16. You did this work when? Um, I did this what into, this is pretty this. recent, this is 2019, so she's made with over 4,000 Lego brick and has uh, crystals on it as oh well. Oh my gosh. And she hides a little message that says, Legos are a girl's best friend. <laughs> I love it, very nice. And through all this, uh, they come out with this show, Lego Masters. Somebody found you or you found them? Uh, someone, I guess, had seen my artwork somewhere and uh, thought it was phenomenal and, and reached out and asked me to apply for the show. So here's the thing. You see on the show a lot of these teams. Uh, there's a father and son. There's a couple of uh, husband and wives, boyfriend, girlfriend. You met your partner through the Lego community you had not met before no. the show had started. No. Okay, that's a disadvantage, I would think. I think it is, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> they have met, and so the, so take us through the premise of the show. You're 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 forced to make all these great creations in a, in a short amount of time. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. It's under very like to the audience who maybe aren't builders or don't build a lot. When we have like 15 hour challenges, that seems like a lot of time. But um, you know the brick masters on the show explain like it's so it's not a lot of I, listen, time given what we're supposed I've to build. I put some together with my my kids, and I know <laughs> that that's nerve wracking. To do it against a clock would be trouble. And they think they, they gel and then they don't. Take a look. Like right um, now, you're pushing down a sidewalk where you don't know where anything going around it is. Um, if you don't have a plan for where it goes, you make a small So, piece. would you feel more comfortable if you did this portion? I can't do this. Can you do the? Can you sculpt the cat? I'm not confident in your sculpting abilities. You know, you're just really stressed out. I am out. super stressed out. I know you're stressed out, okay? I, I sympathize with that what? 100%. Draw while you're talking to me. You don't need to look at me while you're talking to me. You need you to calm me. down. Okay. I don't feel like you're being part of the team. You're not doing anything. Like, I feel like you don't understand Lego. <laughs> Dun dun dun. <laughs> dun dun dun! Oh my God! That, oh, that, I'm stressed watching a minute of that. How do you work <laughs> under that sort of pressure? I don't know. Oh my! It was a challenge for. Well, the thing is, when you get Sam is very artsy too. When you get too artsy, in it, the way I I learned that the way that I would do it is not the way right. he would do it. So that's where there was a conflict. Because the way I would do it, I would lay it, start just start building it uh -huh. and add things in. But his style is a little different. He plans everything else out first, uh -huh. but I had never built with him. So it was a learning curve for sure. We should point out by the Sam and, and Jessica are now married, which is great. Oh, yeah. I'm just yeah. Newlyweds. <laughs> and a baby so on the way. <laughs> it's a Lego baby. We don't know how that happened. <laughs> Lego Masters, tonight at 9 o'clock, you will see if Jessica and Sam can survive. And uh, the, the top prize is what? $100,000. Oh, my gosh. We're wishing Woo. you the best of luck. That's 9 o'clock after The Masked Singer, right before the news at 10. Hey, good luck Thank to you. Thank you so Such much. Such a pleasure to Thank talk you. to you. And and I just I feel like I want to just get tips to, to bring home to my kids. <laughs> Make sure you're doing it home by watching the show.